General Manager Dave Gettleman's valuation of offensive linemen is no secret, and was proven by the Giants making Nate Sauter the highest-paid offensive lineman in the league. During the first week of free agency, the Giants' actions thus far in the offseason don't seem to be those of an organization looking to turn the page from a 37-year-old quarterback. Rather one focused on trying to make one last push with Eli Manning behind center. In NFL Network analyst Bucky Brooks' latest mock draft, the Giants pass on the opportunity to take one of the premier passers in this year's draft class. In either USC's Sam Darnold, UCLA's Josh Rosen, or Wyoming's Josh Allen in favor of a potentially generational talent along the line by selecting Notre Dame's Quentin Nelson. New GM Dave Gettleman is all about the hog mollies. Big guys. So he could bypass a quarterback of the future and a dynamic runner to add a Pro Bowl caliber. Interior blocker to the roster. Giants 7 round mock draft. Post FA edition. Nelson is the consensus top offensive line prospect in this year's class. And some evaluators believe that he has all pro or even Hall of Fame potential in his career. However, it is a bit puzzling to think that the Giants would stay put and take a 6-foot-5, 330-pound guard at no. 2 rather than trying to trade back a couple of spots to bolster their war chest of draft picks or Add another playmaker in potential generational running back Saquon Barkley. Below is a scouting report via NFL.com and highlights from Nelson's 2017 campaign. Strengths. Built like a bank safe with wide hips. Broad chest and powerful limbs. Known for intimidating power. Rarely beaten by power alone. Comes out of the blocks with good pad level. Unlocks powerful hips into contact can forklift defenders out of the gap creating massive running lanes. Extremely aggressive at point of attack and isn't happy until he's imposing his will. Premier double team blocker along with teammate Mike McGlinchey. Uses plus leg drive to cave in down blocks. Moves laterally and in space with adequate fluidity. Works his feet and hips into position to keep blocks secured has core strength and body control to make rare recoveries when beaten. Field aware and able to adjust his assignment. Pass sets from desired posture with wide base and evenly distributed weight. Punches compact and powerful. Fires hands like pistons and is almost always first into the frame with jolt and extension. Able to lock out rushers and maintain complete control with quality mirror through rep. Has hand strength to snatch and sustain in pass pro and run game. Weaknesses. Has a tendency to drop his head into contact in front of him. Will lose sight of his target and whiff against slanting. Arm over specialists. Was on the ground more than he should be against Wake Forest defensive tackles looking to shoot. Daps. Has a slight hitch when coming out of his stance as a pull blocker. Lingers on secure blocks a fraction too long before moving up to linebackers. May have to expedite his pace against NFL defenses. Still room for improvement in pass protection and keeping athletic rushers centered. Has had some injury concerns over the years. Matt Lombardo may be reached at mlombardo at newadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at MattLombardoFull.